Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my skincare favorites for an impaired skin barrier for dry, irritated skin. You know, going into the winter months, our skin is a lot more vulnerable to water loss, irritation, dryness. Maybe you've been using too many products and your skin barrier needs a little assistance, a little TLC. Maybe you oftentimes run into this issue and you want some products to have on hand. Today's video is sponsored by Stalvana and all of these products you can get from Stalvana. If you're not familiar, Stalvana is like a one-stop shop for all of your beauty product favorites. They have a ton of great deals on all of my favorite Korean skincare, Japanese skincare, many of which I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. And of course, they've given me a discount code. If you use my code INF10 Dr. Dre, you can save uh, November 22nd through the 30th. But get excited about this because y'all remember, I reviewed for you all the Beauty of Joseon Cleansing Bar. I love it. It's one of my favorite cleansing bars. Very nice, very mild. The first 1,000 of you that use my code will actually get that for free. So take advantage of it because it's a great cleansing bar and it's very gentle and it's very helpful if you're dealing with dryness and irritation. It's not overly harsh, but it's an effective cleanser for both face and body. Let me know in the comments if you have been here this long, if you remember when I first discovered Etude House Soon Jung 2X Barrier Cream. I love this product and they have a few other products in this line from Etude House. I wanna share with you guys how I think these products go well together. So first of all is the 10 Free Moist Emulsion. Now this is a very lightweight, almost gel-like lotion. It's very hydrating, it's very moisturizing, and it's very soothing. It has their patented, uh, what do they call it? Panthenoside, which is basically panthenol and metacasoside. Metacasoside comes from centella and it has an, it's an antioxidant. It's been shown to be helpful for healing and recovery. So it's a great ingredient for addressing barrier recovery. Panthenol, wonderful moisturizing ingredient. It's both a humectant and it's soothing. It's anti-inflammatory. These are the exact pairing that's perfect for those of you who are dealing with a lot of irritation for maybe product overload or dry winter air. Maybe you have been working indoors and you have the heater cranked up and it is really just taking a toll on your skin. You're experiencing a lot of sensitivity, whether it be burning, redness, irritation, or other products that you try and put on, they just don't feel comfortable. This is the exact type of product that you may want to consider introducing into your routine as the first step after cleansing. You just pat a few pumps to uh, the skin, ideally while it's still a bit damp after cleansing, and it can go on the face, the neck. I comfortably use it around my eyes. It's very gentle, free of fragrance. I mentioned having these products on hand. You don't necessarily need to use this every single day. Maybe it's something that you want to incorporate in just when you find that you're experiencing a lot more dryness. Or maybe on the flip side, your skin doesn't necessarily need a heavy moisturizer. You just want something that's hydrating, moisturizing, but super lightweight. Maybe you want something that you could layer something like makeup on over comfortably and not worry about it pilling, being too heavy. This would be a great choice. The emulsion, very lightweight. There's also the Hydro Barrier Cream. Think of this as an everyday moisturizer that's great for both dry, oily, and recombination skin free of fragrance, as are all of these products that I'm recommending to you guys. And this particular product also has that uh, combination of panthenol and matacasoside, which are good for uh, fighting off irritation, helping to soothe the moisture barrier, helping with hydration. All of these things are going to get you back on track. Or if you're not off track, they're gonna just help with keeping the skin moisturized as we go into the winter months. This particular product, it's thicker, it's heavier, it's richer in comparison to the emulsion, but it's not super heavy either. It's um, more of just an everyday moisturizer. It's, it's, a, it's a cream that can comfortably be worn by all skin types. If you have very oily, sensitive skin, for example, I don't think you're going to find this cloyingly heavy or too rich. Now, sometimes you have an area of your face that's really irritated. Maybe you've gotten some windburn on your cheeks, or maybe you have used a product in a particular area and you're getting a lot of dryness and peeling. Um, in which case you want something that is thicker, that is richer, something more intense. Herein comes one of my favorite products from this line. It's their 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. Again, it has panthenol and matacasoside, 
much thicker in comparison to these other products. It's great for just these spot focused areas. If you're wearing a mask throughout the day and you're getting that mask irritation, and it's especially going to be more problematic as you go into the winter months, this is great. It's great to put on underneath the mask to reduce friction, irritation. Also, you know, another source of irritation to the skin, at least for me personally, is wearing scarves. Fortunately, I don't have to wear them at all anymore because of where I live. But when I lived in New York, I always had a big scarf. And a lot of times, you know, I have very sensitive skin because of my eczema and the uh, material of the scarf would end up causing a lot of irritation around the jawline. And for those of you who have acne that look localizes in this area like a lot of adult women do, consider reining in on the skin protection action of this. It's not pore clogging or anything of that sort. If you have very oily skin, it's not overly greasy on the skin. It doesn't feel cloyingly heavy, but it really does help to tackle that. It's something nice to have on hand too for when you experience these bouts of particularly stubborn patches of dryness. It's meant for the face, but of course you could use it to other body sites. I, I often will develop uh, patches of dryness and irritation on my neck, if there are certain fabrics that I find I don't get along with from new clothing, I'm very sensitive to dyes in, in clothing and I can get irritation around my neck. And this particular product I found to be very effective for that as well. One thing though that is really cool, and in my opinion, I mean, I get excited about things like this that has changed about this is the packaging. Instead of a squeeze tube, check this out. So you open it up and there's like a little, you know, keyhole but in order to get the product out, you actually have to twist it and it it's like a little pop top. And then you can squeeze it out and look, it comes out in a circle. So you don't get like a big blob. Love it. And, and it won't close unless you have twisted it back, then it closes. That way you don't end up having product leak all over. So this is something you like to carry with you on the go in your bag, maybe to work, uh, if you're you know, traveling uh, a lot on a planes and stuff, the packaging is really smart for that. Two ounces. Um, so that's TSA friendly to travel with. So those are the Soon Jung products I love the most from the Etude House. They also make a few other products, but these are the ones that I personally have used a lot. And having all three is nice. You can see, you could, you could use all three together if you wanted to. You're not gonna get any pilling or incompatibility. It's not gonna give you a final end result where you feel like, oh my God, I have all this grease on my face. Nothing of that sort. But you can back off on using some of them when things are, you know, kind of, chilled out, maybe just use the 2X Barrier Cream as your daily moisturizer. Or again, maybe if you're somebody who typically doesn't need a lot of moisturizer, maybe you can back down to just the emulsion. And as we transition away from the dry, cold months, then maybe you can just lean on the emulsion and have it in your routine going into the next season. Now, say you want a really rich, nourishing cream. You like a very thick cream, something that a lot of brands these days would market as a sleep mask, but really effective and giving you that dewy glow the following morning. Uh, Pyongkang Yule is a brand that I adore. I mean, they are one of those brands that just doesn't disappoint, honestly. I discovered them three or four years ago, and the Intensive Repair Cream is great if you are dealing with really dry, irritated skin. Say, for example, maybe you're new to like tretinoin and you're dealing with the peeling and everything, and you're uh, going on an off night where you're taking a break from tretinoin for a night or a few nights and you're looking for something really rich to help with recovery of the barrier, try this intensive repair cream by Pyongkang Yule. Uh, I love the Pyongkang Yule's moisturizers as a side note. They all come in this nice blue jar packaging. They do come with a little spatula. What has always attracted me to Pyongkang Yule and why I find their moisturizers, this one in particular, to be effective is they lean into root extracts, which are rich in humectants as well as antioxidants that can help with barrier recovery. This product has all of the makings of a perfect moisturizer. It has humectants, emollients, and occlusives. It's got shea butter and it has beeswax to reduce water loss from the skin. It has peptides, which act as humectants, and it also has macadamia seed oil and emollient. It gives the skin this nice luminous glow. It doesn't make you look greasy or shiny, and it affords that rich luxury experience. You don't need very much of this. It spreads very well on the skin. It's not stiff. I, did I don't like stiff moisturizers. This has such a nice balance of occlusives and emollients. It really just glides over the skin, cushioning everything and giving you this very nice, 
luminous glow. Now, when it comes to cleansing, cleansers can really be a source of dryness and irritation over cleansing. If you wear makeup, water resistant sunscreen, approaching removal of that, uh, you can end up irritating your skin. Either you leave the cosmetics on and it's irritating, or you spend too much effort trying to get them off, buffing, scrubbing, hot water, harsh cleansers, and it leaves your skin dry. I've always been a big advocate of the double cleanse, using an oil-based cle cleanser first, whether it be a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm to break that film up, just make your job a lot easier. And I gotta tell you guys a personal story. Recently, I forgot to do my double cleanse. I had, the, um, I had a water resistant tinted mineral sunscreen on, and when I got out of the shower, it was still on. I, I used a regular facial cleanser alone, no oil cleanse, in the shower with the water beaten down, the cleanser going, still on my face. So cleansing balm, cleansing oil helps get that off so much more efficiently. This year, I discovered a new to me brand, Beauty of Joseon. I've tried a lot of their products this year and so many of them have been epic wins for me. It's really become one of my favorite Korean brands. And a product that I discovered is their Radiance Cleansing Balm. Love this. For me, cleansing oils and cleansing balms are my favorite part of my skincare routine. It really brings about a luxury experience to just slide that over the surface of the skin, massage it in, and help break up that cosmetic residue, dirt, oil, sebum, all of that stuff. This product is very silky. It has rice bran oil, rice extract, sea buckthorn oil, and emollient. It emulsifies very easily. It really feels very luxuri luxurious. There's no fragrance with this either. So if you like a scented cleansing balm or cleansing oil, you know, you may miss that. But the texture of this is so nice that it does really give you that luxury experience and you don't miss any fragrance. I personally don't like fragrance in skincare, uh, so that's not an issue for me and probably why I like this so much. But it feels really high end when you're using it. It feels really nice. Like you're getting some sort of you know facial treatment that you have paid for while you're using it. And it has emulsifiers in it so that when you get the face wet, you know, rinse it off, it comes off. Uh, and then you follow it with a gentle cleanser to, to remove everything, but it's very effective. I use it to remove eye makeup comfortably, it gets the mascara off, all of that, easy breezy. It's very silky, it's very smooth, easy to spread on the skin. Again, coming back to that spread issue, I don't like stiff products. When products are stiff, and you have to spend a lot of time rubbing, you end up getting more product out and you know, out of for efficiency's sake, and then you go through the product faster. You don't need a lot of this to get everything off. It rinses off in total, and then you use your gentle cleanser. I'm telling you, it's a game changer, very helpful if you're dealing, especially with dryness and irritation. The last thing you want to be doing is over cleansing using your cleanser multiple times in an effort to get off cosmetics or inefficiently removing them, leaving some behind and leaving that irritating residue on the skin. Two sunscreens for you guys, because when it comes to helping your skin, protect it from those UV rays. Exposure to UV rays leads to the generation of free radicals that damages proteins, lipids, sets the stage for skin cancers, aging. So of course, protect your skin from the sun by wearing sunscreen and of course, sun protected behaviors. Uh, just because it's winter doesn't mean you need to forget about sunscreen, especially if you are going somewhere very sunny. Even if it's cold, if the sun is out, you know, it can definitely have a huge impact on your skin. For example, a lot of people go skiing in the winter time and get a horrible either sunburn or like a really, really deep tan that puts them at risk for skin cancer. So one of my favorites is the Hadalabo UV White Gel. Now this is a great moisturizer with sunscreen that you can use on a daily basis. It doesn't leave a cast on my skin, but it does have titanium dioxide in it, so it may leave a bit of a cast if you have a deeper skin tone. Um, but it's not greasy, it's not shiny. I mean, I'm wearing it right now, actually. Uh, so you can form your own opinion about that. But I love it. It has Tinisorb S, Octinoxate, Uvenol A+, Parcel SLX, and again, titanium dioxide. Chemical filters plus the mineral active are good for broad spectrum coverage. It's SPF 50, 
It doesn't feel like you're wearing sunscreen now. It doesn't feel like you're wearing sunscreen. A lot of people don't like the stickiness of sunscreen, the film, you're not getting any of that. This is, you know, if you gave this to somebody and didn't tell them it was sunscreen, they would just think it was a moisturizing cream. It's a great moisturizer too. It has dimethicone, a skin protectant. It has sodium hyaluronate and hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, humectants that help attract water into the top layers of the skin. Ultimately that helps with skin barrier turnover going along more efficiently, lessening the buildup of dry skin cells that kind of slow everything down, lead to bumps. So that's gonna be helpful too if you've got keratosis pilaris. Um, it's great as a makeup base. It also has magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. That is a stabilized form of vitamin C that may help in mitigating uh, free radical formation, although to what extent that actually happens. Uh, in a sunscreen, it's hard to say for sure, but that's there, you know, as an, as an ingredient. It's just a very good moisturizer. Now it's not water resistant. Uh, so if you do plan to be engaging in sport outdoors where you're gonna be sweating or if you're gonna be swimming, I would not rely on this. But as an everyday moisturizer with a high quality SPF, it's a go-to for me. This year I tried out the Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 PA4+. This is a chemical sunscreen. It has Tinosorb S and Juvenal A+. It also has niacinamide, which is good for redness, hyperpigmentation, and it really helps with addressing the issues with the skin barrier. It helps with dry skin. Uh, it's an antioxidant. Uh, so you have that along with the sunscreen, and it's very this product is very moisturizing. It's got rice ferment filtrate, which is full of antioxidants and hum, uh, you know humectants, bacillus soybean filtrate. Uh, again, antioxidants, humectants, soothing, has rice bran water. What I really like about this product though, it's moisturizing, again, similar to the Hotelabo. It's a daily moisturizer that happens to have SPF. It's a very silky consistency. It's a little shiny, I will say that. It's a little shiny, but it, it doesn't make the skin feel greasy, oily. Both sunscreens, as a side note, you can put makeup on over that you don't get that pilling. And I tolerate both, if I didn't already mention this, both the Hada Labo UV white gel and this, I'm able to put them around my eyelids and not have that uh, blurry eye issue that happens with a lot of chemical sunscreens, especially from the US. I haven't ever had the, that issue with either of these. So great option for the winter months that will be here before you know it. Uh, and for addressing dry skin conditions, helping with the moisture barrier, if you're dealing with a lot of irritation, either from physical things, changes in weather, or uh, maybe you've just been using too many products. All right, guys, so those are my uh, top picks. You can get them all from Stylevana. Again, thank you, Stylevana, for uh, sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use my code so you save any, even more. Be sure and let me know in the comments, though, what your go-to skincare product is when your skin is irritated, dry, especially in the winter months. Share your, share your finds in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.